Good morning, everybody. It's Ange here this morning. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Uh, I'm going to talk about something slightly different this week. I've had lots of questions asking me about um, how do I put a meal together. So I thought this would be a really um, cool thing to run over for you so you can see uh, what it is and how it is that I put things together. And sometimes I do it just from what's left in the fridge. Um, and to give you a bit of backstory, I've always been a cook that has to follow a recipe. Um, in my early 20s, I had a corporate job, so I ate out a lot. So I didn't really learn how to cook that well. Um, if it wasn't barbecue chicken and vegetables that I could just add gravy to, it was pretty pretty tricky for me. But now I, um, I'm still not a great cook, but I cook a lot of easy, really easy stuff to get, um, to get out there and get done quickly, but also that it, that is really healthy. Hello, or whoever's there. I can't see who it is today. They just Facebook just doesn't let me see who's in the spots there. Um, so that's okay. So how I do it is I start with the veg. Always start with the veg, um, and I start I try and do um, the colours of the veg because, as you know, I'm a big fan of eating these six colours every day. So it's blue, purple, gr uh, green, red, orange, and yellow or yellow is white, all the white foods. Um, so I suggest that people try and eat these every day because we know that these are what feeds our gut bacteria. So I always start with the veg um, and work out from there. And then I can see what other meal I need to have that will also, um, that I can add the colors that I've missed out. Um, the one that probably most of us struggle with is blueberries, but I always tend to have blue frozen blueberries in my drink of water. So I tend to get them most days. So how I do it is start with the veg and that can be um, the non-carbohydrate veg first, generally. Um, or I don't even think about it like that. I just think about it as veg. So oranges, um, so we, we might do a sweet potato, potato. If I make mashed potato, I always do two. So sweet potato and potato. And sometimes I mix up the different sorts of potatoes because they all have different nutrients. Um, then I add the protein. So the protein would be, um, sometimes it's plant-based protein. Sometimes it's meat protein. Sometimes it's seafood. Um, I always have... A protein because we know that protein keeps you fuller for longer so that's always good to do um, and the protein size should be about the palm of your hand so um, people often ask me about meat and how much meat they should eat and things like that so if you're having protein the size of your hand you're getting your daily requirements pretty much and you should be having protein at every meal because essentially that's what keeps us full um, that's what helps us um, you know manage our blood sugar and with the fiber once we've added the fiber to the protein as well where i start um that can help slow our blood sugar down and keep it pretty stable throughout the day so then i've got so i've got the veg and i've got the protein and then i add um the carbohydrate and for that could be um lots of different things and i know lots of people are grain phobic i'm not um so grain phobic there are some grains that i don't eat i don't eat gluten-free grains because i'm um got hashimoto's so, but I do try and add a little bit of resistant starch every day. Um, and that can be as simple as cooked and cooled potatoes. So I eat a lot of um, cool roasted potatoes. Um, and I also eat um, a, a quite a deal of oats that are um, overnight oats because they're really good for your gut bacteria as well. Um, so with the carbohydrate, if you're doing resistant starch with rice where you've cooked it and cooled it, I normally... Um, get a sauce like a make a um, butter chicken sauce or something like that and then add it to the actual meal um, so you're not heating up the rice because that's how it keeps its resistant starch which supercharges our gut bacteria so they're probably the biggest things um, and I try and get resistant starch every day I tend to do a lot of leftover stuff as well so if I have um, for example we had steak a few days ago and the next day I would have um, the, the little bits of steak. I would just cook it in a different way. So I would have the small bits of steak chopped up, um, maybe scramble some eggs, throw in all my veg that's there and make like a little frittata with what's left. Um, so it doesn't have to be really complicated. I also try and grab some fresh herbs every day from the garden and throw that in if I remember. Um, and it doesn't have to be 
too sciencey um, or too perfect. And I think the other thing to remember is when you see my stuff on Instagram, it's really just thrown together. Um, I'm not a very good influencer um, in the Instagram space because to me, food's about eating. Sure, it could look prettier, but eh, I just hope that it's it's uh, nutritious and delicious. Um, and that is, you know, the benefits of actually um, being able to create it yourself and put in what you want. Um, for most of the stuff, I don't have packages. We rarely would eat anything out of a package. And that's why um, food I cook is really quickly. I don't, I don't really spend hours and hours, unless I'm cooking a slow cooked lamb roast and then I might cook that for six or seven hours. But I don't spend hours of an afternoon when I come home from work cooking um, things because I think that becomes problematic, then you feel like you're a slave to it. So things for us are pretty quick. It's normally um, steamed veg I love, um, which we would eat a couple of times a week because I really think you can mix that up a lot. Um, sauteed vegetables we love. Um, not huge on stir fries, but we do eat them. So all those things are really easy to make. Um, and I've just posted about uh, what's your favorite breakfast meal on, um, on my other page. That for people is really hard to, to get breakfast. Always include veg in breakfast because if you were to get your 28 grams of fiber a day, which is what for women we're aiming for, for men it's 34 grams, um, you want to be having vegetables with breakfast. And that can be as simple as um, sauteed cabbage, uh, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, um, fried tomato and leek, which is one of my favorites. Um, there's lots of things you can do. Sometimes I do um, like a little... Um, uh, I use some stock um, and I'll poach an egg in some bone broth or something like that and I'll just throw in some spinach um, and some leek if I've got it, maybe some zucchini. Um, so you're always trying adding in veg with everything um, because to get your target for the day, you need to be having veg at every meal essentially. And we know that most Australians aren't eating the right amount of veg, so um, it's always good to do that. So that's my top tips for how to make a meal. Start with the veg, add the protein, Get your carbohydrate in a small portion. When I have rice or anything like that, I probably only have two or three tablespoons just to soak up the sauce. I don't need stacks. Um, and if I want um, any more, I have to do exercise before that because my personal trainer gets cranky otherwise. Um, so, so, and then resistant starch, try to have resistant starch every day and bring in these colors of fruit and veg every day to, because we know that the polyphenols in all these colors um, feed our gut bacteria so we know we have to be having them often so that's my top tips have a fantastic week everybody and i'll talk to you soon oh watch out for the poo trophy this week um, it will be out on friday looking forward to see who's going to take out the winner this week see you soon bye